Well, as we all know, the origin of a coal, also known as Lagos, has sparked a huge controversy around the country, Nigeria, today. Many people argue that a coal, also known as Lagos, was established by the Edo people, which is the Benin. And others claim that a coal, also known as Lagos, was originally founded by the Yoruba people. Well, today we are going to talk about it and dive deep down into the origin of a coal popularly known as Lagos today. Please stay tuned. Well, as we all know, there is a lot of traditional history at both Benin and Lagos ends relating to the origin of what is now Lagos. It's ruler and its connection with the Benin people. But perhaps to avoid inadequacies and controversies which the academics claim surround traditional history, we may like to hear what some modern historians have to say on this subject. Robert S. Smith in his book of some principle says that the Yoruba people owns especially in and around Oyo and the western expansion in the 17th century of Benin Kingdom with its number of subjects town on or near the coast which included Lagos. He also went on to say this about Lagos in particular. He said that the name reflects its past to the Yorubas which is popularly known as Eko deriving probably from the farm Oko of the earliest settlers, although alternatively or additionally, it may be the Bini word Eko, which means a war camp. The Bini say Eko is a Bini word that means camp. After describing the activities of the armies of the Bini under the Oba Orogwa, culminating its arrival at what is now Lagos. Robert S. Smith went on to add, he said, sometime later, the Oba appointed the ruler for Lagos to represent the interests of Benin and to forward tribute there. The man choosing is named in both Lagos and Benin tradition as Ashipa. Smith says that by the Lagos account, this Ashipa was an Isheri chief while the Bini account says Ashipa was a grandson of the Oba of Bini. Well, we shall come to this later. Let's just focus on the Smith story. Robert S. Smith was however satisfied that Bini had established his ascendancy in Lagos and had founded a dynasty there at some period before the 1700s and the dynasty dependence on the Benins. G.T. Stride and C. Feka in their book titled People and Empires had this to say on the same subject. So now we are basically leaving the account of Robert S. Smith and we are moving to the other account of G.T. Stride and C. Feka. I want everybody to have this whole story straightened up and get the clearer picture not just from one voice but from different people. So in the account of GT Stride and C. Ifeka, Oba Urugwa was clearly a strong warrior for he enforced tribute, payments from all parts of the empire and in the middle of the 1550s conquered all the coastal lands up to Lagos where he left a permanent garrison. Tradition in Lagos says that the first Oba, the Ileko of Eko, was a son of the Oba Orogwa of Benin. So right now, the Yoruba people originally accepted that their first Oba was a son of Oba Orogwa. In continuation, it will be seen, therefore, that even if we were to disregard traditional history, there is enough material from modern historians to confirm the fact that what is now Lagos was founded by an Oba of Benin 
who also gave it its first ruler. But we really cannot disregard traditional history. So, in the Benin tradition, you know we talk about the Yoruba tradition before and how the Yoruba accepted that their first Oba was a son of Oba Orobwa from Benin. In Benin tradition, they believe the same of Yoruba and the ethnic groups in this country. One way to establish that an event in traditional history did occur is by the type of anecdote or adage that evolves from the event. Thus, for instance, the Edo people say that Orobwa Bolagwe Ona Yukwe Abikwe Zume Riedo, which means that Oba Orobwa defeated Ologwe while in his camp in Eko, which is presently Lagos. From where he overran the place known as Mahi with its ruler, whom the Bini people nicknamed Olagwe. Orobwa discovered the common rock salt and brought it to Benin, thereby tasted it for the first time. Now the name Ashipa has featured quite prominently and rightly too in the history of Lagos. After the Oba Orobwa returned to Benin from Eko, he appointed a commander or an administrator who was called Aisipa to look after the skeleton troop left in the camp in Eko until he returned again from Benin. But unfortunately, he could no longer return having seen the situation at home. The name Aisikba Yeboren, which means people do not desert their homeland. This is how Aisikba, whom the Yoruba now called Ashipa, came into the Lagos, popularly known as Eko history. Mind you, Eko is still there as the traditional Bini name for Lagos. Ashipa has been retained as a senior traditional chieftaincy title, while his descendants now retain the modern name of Oba of Lagos. The interaction of Edo people with others in distant lands must have inevitably resulted in cultural exchanges. That is to say, for the truth, Lagos, which is also known as Eko, was founded by the Benin people and by the Oba of Benin. On different accounts, prominent people in the society today have come out to say their own side of the story relating to history. Although it is not easy for people to accept this, but it is the true history of Lagos. It is the true history of the Edo people. Gone are those days where people fight war to acquire land and to gain power. Things have changed and people and nations have evolved. But that doesn't change the fact that the origin of a place came from somewhere. So on the two accounts, which is one from the Robert S. Smith and the other, they are both saying the same story but in different terms. We cannot shy away or we cannot uh, bypass the fact that the Edo people were involved in the creation of Lagos, popularly known as Eko. But that doesn't mean it will take away the tradition and the belief of the people of Eko, but it is right for the people to know their history and to know how the place they call home came to be. Well, that's it guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment down below for more videos like this. And also, feel free to leave a comment down below to let me know your own side of the story.